This is the lockpicking lawyer, and I recently purchased this Master Lock Model 175 DWD. It differs from the normal Model 175 in the use of letters on the dials instead of numbers. Some people like that because they can use a word as the combination. I currently have this set to the word lock. Personally, I think it tends to make the product less secure, because using a word severely restricts the number of possible combinations. If I have to use a lock like this, I'll usually use an acronym as the combination. Now, if you've watched this channel for long, you know my preferred method for opening these is using a shim to manipulate the locking mechanism. It's quite easy to do. You slip the shim between the lock body and a code wheel, push it to the back of the mechanism, then press down on the shackle, down on the shim, and the lock pops open. I've performed that bypass on hundreds of these types of locks. However, for the very first time, I've encountered a Master 175 that I could not get a shim into. I don't know if the tolerances on this one just happen to be particularly good, or if there's a design change that will eventually be rolled out to the full lineup. Either way, good job by Master Lock. I'll probably buy a few more of these and tear them apart to learn more. But unfortunately, it may be a distinction without a difference, because there's at least one, possibly two other bypasses that work on these locks. They aren't quite as easy as the shim, but they are easy. The one I'm going to show you now is a bit tough to demonstrate on video because the camera gets in the way. It requires pushing down lightly on the shackle and firmly striking the front of the lock body. This jars the blocking lever out of position and allows the lock to open. Let's give it a try. can see that worked very well. Let's do it one more time so you can see it was not a fluke. Okay, folks, I think this is a really significant bypass that renders the lock all but unusable even if we assume that Master Lock fixed the shimming problem. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.